Hi there, my name's Andy Young and I'm one of the automotive lecturers down at Unitech in Auckland, New Zealand and welcome to my Andy Mechanic YouTube channel. Now, we're right in the thick of a pretty major engine stripped down on a Toyota RAV4, 1996 Toyota RAV4 and this is episode 31 of the saga. Now in this episode I'm going to show you how to check the oil pump for wear. And to do that, you're going to need nothing more than a set of feeler gauges. It's a pretty easy task, actually, on this particular oil pump. We have two specifications to work from, uh, as per Mr. Toyota tells us in his manual. We have got a driven rotor to oil pump housing clearance. Now, standard should be 0.1 to 0.16 millimetres. The wear limit, however, is 0.2 of a millimetre. The rotor tip clearance standard is 0.04 to 0.16 millimetres. And of course, the maximum wear limit is again 0.2. Now, to do this test, you've got to strip the oil pump down. You need to remove, you know, the cam belt sprocket. It's a little 12 mil nut. Now I used a, uh, a rattle gun, windy gun, air gun to do that. And then you can get the front casing out of the way. And that's going to leave you with basically this bit. Okay. And of course, this piece here is the drive rotor. That's the inner one. And this one here is the driven rotor. This is the one that's driven by the drive. And you'll see it's got some little marks on there. And those marks go upwards in the casing. Just like, you can get it in, just like that. There we go. Okay. And when you're putting this one back in again, you need to align the mark on there. So I'll stop, put that in there like that. And you can see quite clearly those marks are now aligned like that. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so first of all, the first test. Well, let's measure the driven rotor to oil pump housing clearance. Remember the driven rotor is the big one, the big round one, so we need to measure the gap between the outside of that and the, the aluminium casing, basically, that it runs in. And the maximum is 0.2. So let's start off with that because if it's more than 0.2 we know immediately we need a new oil pump. So 0.2 millimeters. Dum, dum, dum. Oh there we go look 0.203. I think that's near enough don't you? Okay there we go. Look. Can you see that? 0.203 millimeters. Okay so to do this job we can actually remove the inner rotor. That's not needed at the moment. And all we're looking at is the gap between. So it doesn't really matter too much where we take this measurement because this, this can move around slightly anyway. So I think probably down here is a good place. Now this is a pretty big feeler gauge. Pretty wide. So I wonder if my little Yamaha ones would be better. Let's have a look. Okay, so with the Yamaha ones, these little tiny feeler gauges, I'm going to have to use two. I'm going to use a 0 0.15 and a 0 0.05. So those two together will give us the 0.2 millimeters that we need for this check. But with these being nice and narrow, they should fit in or give us a far more positive reading. Okay, well, no, they won't both go in. So we know we're going to be okay to use this pump. Let's find out really what sort of clearance we do have. Now, the standard is 0.1 to 0.16. So let's find the point 0.1. We've definitely got a point 0.1 in here. Okay, so there's, there's the point 0.1. Let's see if that fits down the gap. Yes. Yes, it does. Although it's a pretty snug fit. That sort of indicates to me that there's very little wear. Let's just see if we can go a little bit bigger. Okay. So let's try 0.12. Let's 
got a 0 0.02 there that we can add to it. Let's see what happens with that. 0 0.02 is pretty thin. Okay. And always make sure that the feeler gauges are nice and clean. You don't want any dirt on them, otherwise that's going to cause you a problem. Whoa, it's pretty tight. No, he doesn't want to go in. Oh, there we are, look. Okay. Now that really is quite tight. Yeah. That's about... Yeah, we're about there, so... Point... One two mil of a gap between the driven rotor and the oil pump housing. Now that's definitely a pass because we can go right up to point two before we need to change it. So that's a pass. Okay, let's bring the little uh, drive rotor back in again and let's align those two arrows. Now, the spec on this, the rotor tip clearance, we call it, that's that little clearance just there is the standard is 0 0.04 to 0 0.16 okay well let's try let's try the 0 0.04 first that's pretty much going to fit in now I'm sure oh, I've got 0 0.05 we'll do that let's do that one okay feel the gauges all over the place right there we go right so we've got on there go on focus there we go 0 0.05. Now I'm pretty sure that that's probably going to fit through there. Oh, look at that. Yes. So we know it's more than 0 0.05. Let's go a bit bigger. Let's try 0 0.1 millimeters. That's double the thickness. I'm pretty sure. I have a hunch that this won't fit, but we'll try. No. Oh, hang on. There we go. Yeah. So we've got point 0.1. I was wrong. Sometimes I'm wrong. I'm wrong quite a lot of the time, actually. There we go. So that's that's pretty snug, but I reckon we can go bigger. Now, I think I've got a point 0.12 in here that we used earlier on. So we've got two feeler gauges. We've got the point 0.1 and the point 0.02. Now, that's going to give us point 0.12 millimetres. Now, we're still well under standard spec. Let's just see if that's going to fit in there. No, that's too tight. That's way too tight. So we'll go with 0.1 millimeters for clearance on that. So again, that's a pass. Okay, so, you know, different oil pumps are measured in different ways and you do need to check the manufacturer's spec. But for this RAV4 oil pump, using these little tiny special Yamaha feeler gauges that I have, these are really good for the job. Um, that pump is still well within specifications and we should be able to reuse it. Now there is one other thing that you should check before you decide to give it a clean up and use it again and that's you need to clean out the, the pressure relief valve. Quite often they get gummed up, especially on engines that have been burning oil. This engine's been burning a lot of oil. So I'm going to pull that pressure relief valve out, give it a really good clean and check that the piston, that's the bit that moves up and down, inside the pressure relief valve moves really smoothly in the bore. If it doesn't, if it's a bit sticky and it doesn't want to move freely, then that's another reason for fitting a new pump. Okay, well, it was a short video. I told you it would be a short video. Um, hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions or comments, then do leave them down at the bottom and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, please do. Welcome aboard. More the merrier. It gives me more of an incentive to do these videos for you. Uh, click on the subscribe button, but also to help you, click on the little gear symbol, click on there and do the uh, turn on the notifications. If you do that, then of course you'll get an email sent through uh, by YouTube whenever I upload any new videos. That's the plan anyway. Okay, so you've been watching the Andy Mechanic YouTube channel. I hope you found it helpful. Cheers for now. Over and out.